When I decided to take my digital art more seriously, I honestly had no idea what I needed to do or what are the things that I need to study to become a successful artist. So I went on to social media like Instagram and YouTube to look for professional artists to know what they were doing, what their stories were, and how they became successful. And I found lots of amazing artists, and not gonna lie, I was kinda overwhelmed with all the information that I just found. And I was also kinda intimidated by the skill levels of these artists. But there was this one buzzword that I came around that all these artists were talking about, called the art style. All these artists had a very unique art style that separated them from the crowd and made them successful. And I honestly believe that art styles has to be the most important thing. So I thought that if I want to succeed as an artist, especially a digital artist, I must have an art style. So I started working on it. My thought process was very simple. I looked at the most popular art styles at the time, which were anime girls, and started trying that. But soon I realized that it's not working for me. First of all, this approach where I am so much focused on an art style was just not very fun to me. And second, my fundamentals were not very good, so I was failing a lot. And third, I was trying to create things, draw things that were completely out of my comfort zone. I understood my mistakes very quickly, but not everybody does. An art style is definitely important because it will help you stand out among other artists. It's like your signature, something that gives you your identity. But the problem is how you approach it. Artists, especially beginner artists, believe that to succeed as an artist, you need to have an art style. And these days, succeeding as an artist is very much related to succeeding on social media. It's definitely not the only way to success, but social media has become very important for artists. And with social media comes this obsession with likes, views, and followers. Now, everybody wants to make content that would appeal to the algorithm. And that also applies to artists. These artists, just like everybody else, want quick success. And that's what pushes them to follow trends and create art that are more popular and adopt art styles that would bring them fast followers and likes. And in the process, they end up prioritizing social media and the validation that comes with it more than their own art. And this can be pretty damaging for your art because you're pushing your art and yourself in a direction that you personally don't enjoy. And I remember the time when I used to create artworks and I would constantly think about stylizing it in a certain way. Like the eyes needs to be in a certain shape, the nose needs to be in a certain shape, the jaws needs to be a certain shape, and also keeping the art style consistent with the previous artworks that I made because that's what works on Instagram, right? Now you might ask what's wrong with that? Isn't that how you create an art style? And my answer would be yes. And no, let me explain. So as a beginner or even an intermediate artist, your job should be to explore, finding out what kind of art you personally enjoy looking at and what other things you personally enjoy drawing. You will not know what you like unless you have seen what is out there. What I am trying to say is do not close yourself inside a box. Search for different artists, explore different art styles and different genres of art. And that is exactly what I'm doing now. I still draw girls with big eyes, small noses, but my mindset has now completely changed. Now I draw them because that's what I personally enjoy drawing. I have tried other art styles like anime and cartoony art styles, but I have realized that personally, I find more realistic proportions and rendering styles to be more appealing to me. And another thing that have changed is that I have realized that fundamentals are way more important than art styles. So today, art styles are pretty low on my priority list. Okay, so it all comes down to these three things. These are what's going to help you achieve an art style. First, draw the things that you personally enjoy drawing. Your own enjoyment and satisfaction are the most important things. If you like drawing anime, draw anime. If you are more into realism, do realism. Don't let social media or anyone else decide what you are going to draw. That might work in the short term, but in the long term, that is not sustainable and you will end up burning yourself out. Second, study the fundamentals. If you are going to construct a building without a strong base, it is going to fall apart. 
same goes for your art. Without strong fundamentals, no art style is going to work for you. Third, find other artists whose art style you really enjoy and study their art and try to apply it to your own work. So the conclusion of this video is that your priorities matter. As an artist, your priority should be you and your art and not social media. You will always find people that will love the same thing that you do. And your art style is an amalgamation of everything that you have learned and experienced. So don't try to force yourself into finding an art style. Let your art style come to you. So this is it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.